tension heightening in states over unpaid June salaries, says NLC. The inability to pay June the salaries of government workers is generating tension and agitation across the various states of the Federation, the Nigeria Labour Congress has stated. This followed the deadlocked meetings of the Federation Accounts Allocation Committee over the shortfall in revenue remitted by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation to the Federation Account. The NLC Secretary General, Peter Ozoesen, informed Sunday Punch on Saturday that the situation was putting the states under stress because the FAAC was their main source of revenue through which they meet their financial obligations. He disclosed that state chairman of NLC had been calling the Labour Centre to complain about the delayed salaries. Ozo Essen therefore called for a quick resolution of the issues by the FAAC and NNPC, noting that it was crucial for the dispute and controversy over the revenue shortage to be resolved as quickly as possible. The NLC secretary added, the failure of FACC to share the allocation is causing stress on states because for many states, that is the substantial source of their revenue. If the FAAC issue cannot be resolved, it is going to create tension. I got calls from a number of states yesterday, Friday, where our state chairman were agitated because of the inability to pay salaries by the government. For us, the crucial matter is for the FAAC issue to be resolved quickly, transparently so that states can meet their financial obligations. Commenting on the reported shortfall in revenue by the NNPC, the NLC called for an audit of the corporation, stressing that the agency must be made accountable in its handling of remittance to the Federation account. Ozo Essen added, We have publicly taken in the past position that the NNPC must be made transparent and accountable in the handling of payments into the Federation account. The arrangement in which the NNPC started taking without appropriation, the process of subsidy payments is a recipe for unaccountability and lack of transparency. I believe that what needs to be done is that a proper audit should be done of the NNPC to determine whatever it had held back from the Federation account because it is not its money, it is not even the money of the federal government. The NLC argued that it was illegal for the corporation to allocate funds to fuel subsidy without appropriation, adding that it should be made to refund whatever it had spent if indicted by an audit probe. It is the money that belonged to all the states and the local government and nothing short of a transparent accountability and refund of whatever has been held back in the past is going to be sufficient, the Congress stated. 17 states pay June salaries Meanwhile, as of the close of work on Friday, only 17 out of the 36 states in the country confirmed to Sunday Punch correspondence that they had paid their workers for the month of June. The states are Lagos, Ogun, Rivers, Aqua Ibom, Bielsa, Delta, Edo, Cross River, Enugu, Anambra, Quara, Kano, Sokoto, Bauchi, Zamfara and Katsina. Our correspondents also confirmed from civil servants in Ondo, Tiraba, Arbia, Kaduna, Plato, Borno, Osun, Imo, Olyo, Akiti, Kogi, Banu, Niger and Nasarawa states that their June the salaries had not been paid. Sunday Punch investigations revealed that the Anambra state civil servants received their salaries on June 25 from funds raised through the state's internally generated revenue. The governor, Willie Obiano, told one of our correspondents that the state currently had the capacity to pay its workers for the next six months without recourse to the federal allocation. He said, the state is financially stable because of its strategic planning, sound economic principles and prudent management of resources. Investigations by one of our correspondents revealed that while many workers in Ogun State Civil Service had received payment alert from their banks as of Friday, local government staff and the public school teachers had yet to be paid. The Chairman, Trade Union Congress in the state, Mr. Olabunmi for Joe B. said, the Ogun state government commenced the payment of June the salaries to civil servants on Thursday but the local government workers and the teachers have yet to get their own salary alerts. The chairman, Katsina State Chapter of the NLC, Tani Musolawa, said, the Katsina state government is able to pay the June the salary to workers because it saves for rainy day. 
This shows that the government is committed to the welfare of workers. The Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Aqua Ibom State, Mr. Charles Udo, said the state was able to pay its workers as a result of the prudent and creative management of its resources by Governor Udom Emanuel. The Chief Press Secretary to the Bauchi State Governor, Abu Bakr al Sadiqa, said the state government was able to pay the June the salaries to its workers because it blocked all avenues hitherto being used to siphon the state resources. He said, we blocked all loopholes and leakages in the system and all avenues for siphoning government money through a series of verification. In Bielsa State, the Commissioner for Finance, Mr. Maxwell Ibibai, said, Governor Syriaki Dixon directed the immediate sourcing of funds to address the salary concerns of civil servants. The Rivers State Governor, Chief Nizam Waik, said his administration was able to pay the June the salaries of its workers through its careful financial engineering. The Commissioner for Finance in Kuara State, Al Haji Damala Banu, said the state government got the money from alternative sources without elaborating. The special assistant to Governor Abdulaziz Yari of Zamfara State, Ibrahim Dosara, told Sunday Punch the state was the first to pay June the salary to its workforce. He said, we have an irrevocable arrangement for our salary to be paid on the 25th of every month. This shows that we are a frugal and not a wasteful government. However, civil servants in Sokoto State, who had earlier got a month's salary in advance to celebrate the Eid El Fitr, were still expecting alerts for the two-thirds of their salaries as of Friday. The state government had paid the one-month extra salary to each of the workers with a condition that it would be deducted from their salaries within three months. In Enugu State, Governor Afeni Aguaini said his government paid the June the salaries to its workers because of its commitment to the well-being of the people of the state. The special advisor to the Edo State Governor on Media and Communication Strategy, Kruso Osaji, said Governor Godwin Obaseki ensured that all civil servants were paid their salaries out of the IGR and other sources of income for the state. The Delta State Governor, Afeni Okawa, through his Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Charles Anyagu, equally said his administration was able to pay the workers their June the salaries as a result of its prudent management of its lean resources. Stories by Chukwudi Akasike, Samuel Awoyanfa, Mudiagaraf, Simon Udbor, Adelani Adepegba, Etamek Pima, Ihuo Machiedozi, Alexandra Kera, Elide Oyelud, Anthony Okafor, Ted Odogwu, Adani Iologbemi, Armstrong, back and think your friend would be INTRESTED. Share this story using any of the share button below down arrow place your text advert below greater than 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 loading. Share your story with us via email, info at 247nigerianewsupdate.co Receive news via our WhatsApp, kindly text 234,701056-0394 to add you, click here to join us on our YouTube channel for news update, click here to join us on Twitter for instant news update, at 247NGNEWSUPDATE Click here to join millions around the globe to read news on our Facebook fan page for instant updates on Instagram Click here receive instant news update via our BBM broadcast D3EDEFDF